So thank you, Dan, Dan, for the your lovely, lovely presentation on that uh, uh, Android and the Azure Azure authentication those things. And uh, now I'm starting in with my demo. It's regarding the Make Life Easy, where which I've taken part in the Microsoft the Power Platform Global AI Hack. So the firstly I like to say thanks to the the Power Platform Global AI Hack team. For organizing the hackathon event, which has given a uh, good opportunity to everyone to learn the OpenAI, also the Chat GPT, Dali, all the services to integrate in our Power Platform. Uh, Power Platform. So when I started working on the idea of the building the app, initially I considered to creating for the business process, where uh, this business process is for the using AI to generate the invoices or doing a lot of stuff with chat GPT, all this thing. But I got an idea here from my family is that my wife and I are proud parents to a delightful five year old kid who is on the autism spectrum. So as a caregiver, our primary focus was to simplify our son life. And sunlight. Basically, the autistic children tends to thrive on the structured process, necessitating on the constant uh, guidance through each step. So my wife and and I basically do a substantial amount of time writing and illustrating a visual and text-based task list for our son. So due to this, I. I motivated for desire to elevate her burden and I embarked to the journey making a app which is make life easy app. Uh, it's a canvas app which is specially designed for the autistic children for doing their daily routine activity. The app has a primary goal is to simplify and enhance the lives of both parents and the children by providing visual and the text based guidance for the various daily activities. So in this app, there are three features were the visual and the text-based task list, customizable activities, scheduling, then accessibility features, user-friendly design, and feedback and improvement. The main purpose of this app was the enhancing the daily lives of the autistic children and their parents. So this was the uh, manual handwritten step. If you see here, sorry, oh, uh, here, which is written by my wife, like the daily activity by for the kid, who's uh, like a uh, simple activity which we usually do. We learn about those things, but the autistic kid have to learn, or we have to show them visualize step for each activity here. So we usually do like this by writing and giving some uh, images or their thing. So from there, we are moving to this scheduler board where it had the all the steps to perform the activity. And with the help of Azure AI and Canvas app, uh, parent can build this app according to their uh, requirement. So this is a high level design of this app where uh, I am using the Power Apps data words for the storing the data. Also, Azure OpenAI DALI services to uh, generate the text, step text, also the images through the DALI. Next step was the demo. So, this is the uh, main screen of this app where uh, we have a two portion here where this user will log in like as a parent or as a child. So when I log in as a parent, here I, ha I have to ask chat GPT to generate a visualize steps. So like I am adding here steps.
So basically, I'm using the little bit slow uh, with the Azure Open AI um, because I am using a free version here. So here we get the all the steps from the chat GPT for uh, which I like the steps are here one to 11 where I select this to save into my database. And I got the list here which I searched previously also. Uh, the thing which I need to use for the creating an image like if I am using this step here. So I get all the step and I want to create a images for that. I click here. And don't know those whole uh, steps converted to a gallery with the individual records here with the prompt. And if I click here, so I get the, the prompt on the text box with now I will ask Dali here to generate the images. So it's a basic image here if I and I can change a lot of thing here with a with a changing like generating a animated image or a real image those things. And when I select one image here and I can use an existing scheduler board or I can create a new one here. And I'm adding this task here to the scheduler board. Up, like same way, we will now go to the next step. They're all it will be around 10 or 12 steps according to the parent how they want to add in for a kid for their kid. And like we got this, then again I'm selecting this and adding to the my scheduler task. And then after when I'm finishing, I'm changing to the next. Where I will select the uh, uh, scheduler board here. Now, if you see, it had two images. If I go the remove two step uh, previous one, which had two. This one I have generated previously, so it has a multiple images. So, like I assign brush teeth to my kid here, and I'm changing the status to active and assign. Now this brush scheduler is bold is assigned to his case. Now when he log into the his app and he can see there are two brush teeth and remove suit. So brush teeth with the visual also here we have the all the steps were written here. So remove shoes is this one. Also, I was thinking to add the print PDF, this print PDF functionality in my canvas app so that a parent can print this space and can put this in the like for the remove shoes, we can put in our front door. Removing shoes, they print that page and can put in their washroom. So this is the way we I want to help parents who are the who need some help regarding this specific? Thank you. Also, the now I'm saying I my like this is my a personal uh, like my email email ID. Also, the LinkedIn profile. Also, I put this app on the GitHub so you can access from there. Thank you. Everyone.